In this video, we'll install Ember.js. Thanks to all the work we've done leading up to this, it's going to be fast and easy. First, open up your command line tool. I'm using iTerm on Mac OS X. The first thing you want to do is navigate to the folder called Your Code. I'll be working in chapter one, but you should be in the Your Code folder. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, you should revisit the chapter called Super Quick Setup with Yeoman and Bauer and Grunt. Now that you've navigated to the right place, simply type Bauer install dash s ember and hit enter. What this does is it instructs Bauer to go get the latest copy of ember and save it to your local project. Ember.js has just one dependency it installs. It's a template framework called handlebars. I'm going to go into what that is in another video. For now though, once Bauer has installed everything, we just need to add some script tags to our page so that those scripts are loaded on our page. Let's open our text editor and open up the index.html file located in app inside whatever folder you're in. You should be in your code. I'm in chapter one. So towards the bottom of this page, starting at around line 70, you'll see a lot of script tags. Just below those, we're going to add two more for handlebars and ember. So open a new line and type this. Script source equals Bower components slash handlebars slash handlebars dot js and close that. Let's just copy that and put it below it. We're going to need most of the same of that. And then instead of handlebars, we'll enter ember. And the same thing here. Take a look at that. Double check your work to make sure it's the same as mine. I've saved it. And then you're ready to go. Ember is installed. That is all the installing we're going to do for quite some time. Don't worry. Pretty soon we're going to actually begin to build things with Ember.js.